Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this classic uh, fantasy cartoonistic looking cart, okay? So we're gonna start with the roofing and then we will build the rest of the body, okay? So I'm gonna start by creating a cube, okay? So let's make it a bit um, squashed down, shorter maybe a bit longer here right so I'll go ahead and uh, change the number of divisions here so let's say we'll add um, three or maybe four divisions here and add a couple of divisions no um, for the depth let's add a couple of divisions here okay so this is going to be one uh, piece of the tile so I'll actually just make it three okay so it is uh, better to have less number of divisions so that the file size becomes less and the number of polygons also uh, becomes less but at the same time we need to make sure that uh, we get enough uh, detail to work with okay so um, that's the basic shape that we want so what I'll do is I'll add some um, bevel here so I'll go ahead and choose edge double click on this edge uh, double click on this one double click on this one and probably I want to do the same for the bottom here so let's say double click double click double click and I'll go ahead and just choose um, bevel here so shift right click and bevel and um, maybe I'll add one div one more division here so just to make it a bit more smoother I'm gonna select the object and press 3 so that's how it looks all right so that's uh, perfect for now um, might have to just do a little bit of extrude here just to make these guys a bit more um, sharp so just one extrude there and I'll go ahead and press 3 once again okay so that looks perfectly fine now if you think it's a little uh, thicker you can uh, make it a bit thinner just by using the scale tool um, if you're not sure how I'm changing these um, tools uh, the shortcut key is W for move uh, E for rotate and R for scale okay so if you just use those shortcut keys you can also uh, get this done right so I'll just keep it uh, back in its origin and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some copies of this so let's go ahead and just select the scale uh, move tool and press control D to make a duplicate okay and I'm gonna move this uh, just next to it okay so uh, try not to have any gaps between them and try to make sure that it's touching exactly uh, one another. Uh, if you want, you can actually use the top view and press 4 to precisely place them, right? So even if uh, they're overlapping a little bit, that's not a problem because when we smooth it, it is going to be looking perfectly fine. So once we made this first uh, duplicate by pressing Control D, now what we can do is we can actually press Shift D which will actually do the duplicate with the last transformation that we did. So if I just if I just keep on pressing the Shift D, it's actually going to make a lot of copies. So uh, we can make as much as you want. <clears throat> now it will actually show us a count here. Uh, this is 18 copies, so I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to finish there. So now we got these 18 copies. I'm going to select all of them. Now I'm in sub object mode, so let's just go back to the object mode. And there you go. So I'm going to press E to get my rotation tool. I'm going to rotate it um, 90, sorry, 45 degrees. So let's say minus 45 here. Okay. So uh, with that, I'm just going to make some more copies. So I'll go ahead and choose uh, Move tool here and press Control D. Uh, this time, maybe I'll use the front view so I can actually get a clear position here. So let's just do that. Or maybe somewhere here. Okay. okay that's looking good now one little change that we have to do is um, these tiles they're not actually going to be exactly one on top of another so uh, I'll just press control is it to select that those guys and what I have to do is I have to just uh, make it like this so we can actually be more precise here so let's try to keep them um, exactly in the gap that's perfect okay so now we will have one extra over here so we can just delete that out okay or you can actually make one more extra here so that's up to you 
Now we basically have two sets and now we can actually create the total height. So I'm going to select all these guys. I'm going to press control D and I'll go back to the front view here and I'm going to pull this up. Okay. So you can uh, just be approximated. Don't have to be hundred percent precise here. So uh, I'm just trying to keep him uh, just this much distance. So I'll just say oh, that looks almost fine. Okay, so I'm gonna press Shift D once again, uh, and maybe one more time, so we get uh, all these copies. So it looks like uh, the roof. Okay, so if you want, you can actually have one more. So <laughs> there's no limit in terms of how many you want to have. It depends on uh, the kind of drawing that you have, or concept art that you have. Uh, you can just make those decisions. Okay, so once we got that, I want to make some more changes here just to distort it a bit. So. For distortion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these guys, uh, press Control G to group them all together, and now what I have to do is I will go ahead and um, apply a deformer here. So uh, hopefully you'll be working in modeling. So let's just move on to rigging section, and there you'll find deform tool, um, and there we need to find uh, something called lattice. Okay, so if I just go to the options, uh, I'm just going to leave everything in default. I'll hit reset and create. That's perfect, okay? So if you want to have uh, further divisions, we can actually add them. But for now, I think I'm okay with this, right? So what I want to do is I want to actually create a uh, bend here instead of just keeping them straight. So uh, I'll just go ahead and choose right click and I'll go to lattice points. So it gives us these control points, which we can actually select them and just deform uh, the shape, okay? So I'm gonna choose the uh, front view here I'll select these two, got basically three three of these. And then I'll just pull this to the front. As you can see, it actually distorts it. And I can just pull it up. Okay, I'm gonna just do the same for this guy also. Now, if we uh, take a look here, so you can see that uh, previously it was just uh, straight. Now it is a bit more curved. Okay, so that's exactly the result that we wanted. So I'll go ahead and just exaggerate a bit more. So. We can even just move these guys. Okay, that's too much. Uh, maybe like so, maybe like so. Okay, so um, make sure that it does not uh, distort it crazy. Um, should be fine, I guess. Okay, uh, we can actually check them here. Yeah, that looks okay. Now what I want to do is I want to apply one more lattice on top of this. So let's just finalize this shape. So let's just go back to the selection of the object. I'm just selecting one of them and press up, press up arrow to select uh, the group. And now what I want to do is I want to go to edit and then choose uh, delete by type history. So that basically removes the history information along with the history. The lattice also goes off. Okay, so we're gonna apply one more lattice. So let me just click on it once again so we get that shape. And I'm going to choose um, deform and choose lattice. Okay, so this time I wanna add uh, some more details here. So let's say uh, we go to S division, uh, not that one. Uh, U division, I'll just add uh, maybe two or three. Two should be fine, I think. Uh, better to have less number of divisions. It makes things much easier for us. Uh, to work with. So I'm just going to keep TS3. So that should be fine. Now what I want is I want uh, the front side to be smaller and then the back side to be a bit bigger. Okay, so let's just go ahead and choose lattice point once again. Click on these guys and just pull it up. Okay, so I'll, I'll do the same thing for this guy. And we can just keep on doing this until we get the result that we wanted. Okay, just select these guys, pull it up, select these guys, pull them like so, and keep on doing that. Um, if it looks like it's too much distorted, we can actually compensate that by just pushing these guys up a little bit, and I'll do the same for these guys also. So uh, we can do the same thing uh, by pushing them outwards. So let's say select these two guys and just push them out like so. And this one will go a little bit more. Okay, so you can see that there's a little bit of distortion there. And this guy can, can also come here. Okay, so make the distortion until uh, you get the desired 
result that you wanted. Okay, so we'll keep it there. Keep these guys up. Okay, maybe distort it a bit more here, a bit more this way. I think that looks good. Okay. Now, once we are finished with that, we can actually go ahead and select this guy and um, press up arrow to select the entire group and go to edit and choose delete by type history. So that gets rid of the uh, lattice deformer that we had. Okay, so next thing is we need to create this uh, roof area. So for that, I'm gonna use a cube. So let's say we'll start with a cube and uh, go to the side view that gives us better uh, view here so let's just place him somewhere here okay so from there I just want to do some extrude either I can just uh, keep on extruding to get the shape or we can just make one, one extrude and from there we can actually uh, make the other shape so let's just select this guy just do an extrude I'm gonna push it somewhere here so let's say um, somewhere here I'll do one more extrude, push him here, one more extrude uh, till the end here. Okay, so now we can actually make for the tweaks here. So I can make this guy a little bit taller here as it goes on. Okay, uh, this side is going to be smaller, so keep this up here. Maybe I'll just push this a little bit like so. Okay, so as you can see, we are actually um, having this roof in a little wrong location. So I'll just select one, press up arrow to select the entire group, we'll go to the front view and just push all these guys um, like so. Now we can just keep it a little bit like so, that should be fine. As long as it is staying inside, it's good, no problem. Uh, if needed, we can actually keep him right in the middle also okay so that's one side and now what we need to do is we need to actually make this a bit more smoother so i'll just add a couple of more divisions here so let's say i can select all these edges and choose uh, shift right click and choose connect components so that's one method we can add an edge loop here so uh, once we're done th with that we can actually make some more changes here or I can also select the object, uh, shift right click and choose insert edge loop tool. And that way also we can get him here. So let's say select him, just tweak the shape. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple more here. So let's say one here. And I'm just gonna push this down a bit. This guy's gonna be straight here. So I'll add, um, not there just add some more here okay and maybe one more here so let me just go ahead and select this guy bring it down bring him down a bit like so okay and there you go now what we can do is if I press 3 you will see that it becomes like a cylinder which we don't want we want to keep it more like a uh, uh, rectangle shape so I'll just double click on this double click on this and we'll also double click on these guys basically select all these guys okay and I will double click on this double click on this to get all these edges here okay and I'm gonna shift right click and choose uh, bevel edge here so that gives us a bit more softer result I'm gonna just add the divisions here so let's say two three maybe yeah and now if I press 3 you can see that we have a nice um, soft result okay so we'll ignore the last edge because we need to make some more shapes there so I might have to tweak this area a bit more because we want to have a somewhat softer result instead of just sharp results so I'll actually add an edge loop here so let's say one maybe one more here Let's add one between each of them. Okay, so now whenever you are adding uh, edge loops, make sure that you're actually tweaking the shape. 
to match the flow of it so uh, either you in change the one that we have inserted or you can change um, the one that was already there right so this needs to come down a bit or maybe this one needs to go up okay okay so if there is a problem it'll be visible when we just smooth it out so if it looks good no problem everything is good perfect so in this area now we're going to create a nice fancy uh look so to do that we need to first have a curve so let's go to curve tools uh, choose ep curve tool or cv curve tool whichever you like go to the side view we're going to start from somewhere here so let's say one point and the second point is going to be here so that's going to be just flowing like so and i'm going to have one here maybe one here one here one here one here one here and press enter now after we creating after creating that also we can still make changes here so let's say uh, this is gonna go like so Maybe that's too close I'll just select both these guys uh, move them something like that okay and this is going to be like so or maybe I'll just select all these guys and just move them uh, up. Okay. Okay. So now, once we get a uh, desired shape there, uh, we're going to go back to face mode. So let's select this face. Shift select this curve. Okay. And now we're going to press shift, right click, and choose extrude face. So generally when we do extrude, it just extrudes from there. Now it actually extrudes till the end of this curve and we need to see it. Uh, to see it, we need to actually add more divisions. So if I just add divisions, you can see that we get a nice shape there, right? So now we need to actually make this edge to be a bit smaller. So to do that, um, we don't have an option here. So let's just go down, scroll down all the way to taper, okay? So the taper is one by default. Let's make it, um, not zero maybe 0.2 that looks good or maybe 0.1 0 0.1 that's perfect okay so we get that nice little result there if i press three we can actually see how that looks that is beautiful okay looks like the tail of a um, uh, chameleon okay so now the best part when we do uh, these kind of extrudes is like even after we get the result, we can still modify uh, the shape of it with the help of this um, curve. So let me just get back to the curve and then I can actually choose the control vertex. I'm going to choose this side view to make things easier for us. Okay, so now you can still make changes here. So let's say if I select these control vertex, I can actually pull them uh, to change uh, the shape. Okay, so I'm happy with the result that I have, so I'll just leave it as it is. If you want to make changes, you can do that, but this will uh, stop affecting once you uh, delete the history. So if I go to delete the history of this object, now the, um, the shape is no more controllable by these vertices. So now if I just choose these vertex and change the curve, it is not going to modify uh, anything uh, from the uh, shape. Okay, so now we can actually get rid of this curve. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so once we got that, we can actually make a duplicate of this, um, uh, the, the roof to the other side. So for doing that, I'm just gonna select all of them. It's a group. And I need to actually change the pivot point of the group uh, to the center. So by pressing uh, insert key or D key in the keyboard. And I'm gonna press X to get a grid snap so that's going to snap it exactly onto the origin here okay press insert once again and now this time we're going to make a duplicate so i'm going to press ctrl d to make the duplicate and we need to make a mirror to the uh, x-axis minus so i'll choose x scale and i will write minus one so that gets me in the other side okay so that's perfect so next thing that we want to do is we want to just uh, hide this problem that we have here. Uh, you can see that there's a little uh, missing tile, so we can actually hide that by creating a little uh, shape there. So I'll go ahead and choose Create Polygon Primitives Cube. Okay. So uh, this cube is going to be basically an extrude uh, coming from down here to up here. 
uh, I'm gonna just push this up okay we can zoom in much closer to see exactly uh, what we're working with and that's gonna be there okay it, ha it can be a little bit to the front to make sure that it's gonna hide uh, both these areas okay now I'm gonna press 4 we don't want one side of this because we can actually mirror to the other side so I'm gonna just select these two guys uh, these four vertices press X and just click and drag to the center okay so now this way if I just make one side I can actually mirror to the other side I'll go ahead and choose face I'm gonna select this face delete it okay and we're gonna extrude from this side so we're gonna keep this uh, starting area there as it is and extrude this bring it out bring it down now never move um, in the perspective view from the center so that'll give you weird results so better to use a front view so I'm going to use the front view here uh, bring it all the way here and I'm going to choose these vertices I can actually snap it down somewhere there and snap this somewhere there okay so let's make sure that we're having the nice result okay uh, only thing is I need to bring them a bit more down so I'll select all of them bring them down okay it can be skinny from the side isn't it that's okay we'll leave it as it is now I need to add more divisions in between so to make the uh, curvy shape again you'll use the front view here so let me choose uh, all these edges shift right click connect components double click on that just bend it to get the shape that we want okay we'll continue doing that double click push it up okay select these um, connect components and double click move in like so okay so if you think I'm teaching too fast you can actually pause or rewind um, and watch again that's the advantage of having a, a lecture being recorded in a video so you can actually rewind play again or watch the whole video over and over again up to you good so next thing that we want to do is we want to have a copy of the same to the other side okay so to do that we need to make sure that we have the object right in the center okay so that's perfect so now we're gonna make a mirror from one side to the other side okay so for doing this make sure that you're in uh, modeling status and go to mesh tools or mesh yes so in mesh there is something called a mirror okay so let's go to options here let's just reset everything so I think the default value should work fine so I'll hit mirror okay so now you can see that we got the same guy uh, with an extra copy in the other side okay and now this tool has an advantage unless uh, the way we did before for the uh, copy we did the duplicate here uh, this one what it does is it actually makes the mirror and makes these two objects together as a single object okay so now if it, you can see that it's actually merged together into one object okay so if I just go ahead and choose this vertex you can see that it's not going to be two vertices here it's actually one single vertex okay so it actually makes duplicate and it actually combines the objects together and it also merges the vertices together uh, so it's just one tool for three different tasks okay so that way we get um, the final result there okay so next thing that we want to do is we want to create um, the inside area okay now if you think that uh, these are little issues that you have here so what we can do is we can actually select just those vertices we can just push them inside to avoid those problems okay or you can actually do uh, more changes here to this guy to make it look nice right so now if I press 3 you can see that it actually becomes like so if you don't want that result you want more of a squarish uh, appearance so I'm gonna double click on this shift double click on this shift double click on this and shift double click on this so all those things there I want to select these guys also okay 
these guys also and we're gonna apply a bevel so shift right click and choose bevel edge there you go maybe a bit too much there so let's just reduce it to something like that I'm gonna add a couple of segments here so let's say two three there you go press three so yeah that's perfect okay so next thing that we can do is we can actually make a duplicate of that same same object and you can actually make a duplicate of the same object to bring it to the back so let's press ctrl d and move it all the way back now the size is a little issue so what we can do is we can actually just scale it up and see if it fits i think that's perfectly fine so next thing that we want to do is we want to actually cover this area front and back so i'll start with a polygon cube here so let's just make it a bit bigger maybe a bit small like so okay and we can actually try to put him uh the place that we want it's too wide let's make it smaller here okay and i want to actually add some divisions um, height divisions basically so because we need them to get the shape that we wanted here okay so now i'm actually going to see both these views to make sure that it's going to fit in so let's just go ahead and choose vertex select all these vertices uh, make it smaller so that it goes in like so select these guys make it smaller select these guys make it smaller select these guys make it smaller select these guys and make it smaller okay okay so I think I may have to make some little change here also this guy vertex plus 4 actually not going to be visible at all I can actually delete that also anyways okay so now let's just move on and make some more details here so let's say uh, I want to have some kind of uh, um, display hanging thingy here so for that I'm going to choose a cylinder here so let's just go ahead and just right click or rotate that 90 degrees I'm gonna make uh, the number of divisions to be less we don't need 80 so let's just make it something like 8 because we can actually smooth it out so I'll just push it up here so make it smaller and I'm actually going to um, reshape this anyway so let me just check and make sure that it's not too thick Something like that and then I'm gonna reshape this by just choosing these guys just push it up these guys push them down and okay select it I can actually bring it a little bit outside like so that looks good and I need to if I just smooth it out it'll look uh, more like a too much uh, curvy so I'm just gonna double click on that and apply a bevel here and that's too much maybe less like so okay maybe two point two or three okay and add some actually point two is good enough okay let's give zero point two that's perfect i'm going to add a couple of divisions here good i'm going to press uh, three now to see how that looks okay it's still getting round uh, let me just add a couple more divisions here so let's say insert edge loop tool I'm gonna add one here okay add one here 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 
So those are the areas that I wanted to be more cornered. So let's press three. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Good, so next thing that we want is we need to make a um, little extrude coming from here. So um, I'm going to create it with another cylinder. Now keep in mind, uh, when you have small pieces, it is always better to uh, use different pieces instead of trying to create everything from a same piece, okay? So uh, let's extrude and it all, it's also easier for us later to do the um, texturing. Okay, so try to have as many number of small pieces as possible. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller here. So let's say I'm going to start from here, something like that. Okay, and um, I want to have this sticking out. So let's just make it a bit smaller here. So let's say something like that. Okay. Okay. So from this, I want to have uh, one more extrude here. So let's say push it out like so. And I can actually make this as sharp as possible, tiny little thingy. So yeah, that should be fine. And then I want to add a, a division here. So let's say, oops, select him and go to insert edge loop tool. I'm going to just add one here and this is going to be made like so so that looks more like a arrow there so let me just go ahead and double click on this maybe just push him a little bit like so okay now depending on how much sharp you want it to be you can actually push that forward okay so now we need to actually add more divisions here so let's say um, I think the total the whole thing is too big Maybe I'll just select everything, make it smaller. Yeah. Okay. So now what I want is I want to add uh, more divisions here. So let's say uh, insert edge loop tool. So let's just add one here. And I'm going to look at the side view to make things a bit more easier. So like so. And I can actually select all these guys and do something like that yes okay so now we need to add more divisions so let's select shift right click choose insert edge loop tool and just rotate it like so just bring this down oops bring this down and add more divisions here just rotate it like so bring this down okay the more divisions that you add the much nicer uh, the shape becomes so add as much as possible just like so okay so now we can actually just select this guy and choose a uh, bevel that is going to have a little bit of less fraction because it needs to be uh, more sharper I'll do the same thing for this guy bevel make it smaller as small as possible and then we can actually add divisions here so let's just go ahead and do that and a couple more divisions here so let's say add one here add one here and let's just see if and smooth it yes that's exactly the shape that we wanted now you can see that it's actually not uh, touching there in the corner so let's just go ahead and select uh, face okay so that basically you want to select this face that is inside okay so press one again now from the side view I just want to extrude it and push it inside so let's say extrude face and we're gonna push it inside like so if you want you can actually make it bigger um, just do okay shift extrude once again okay so this will basically uh, get that shape going inside. So if I press 3 and we check that as now it looks like it's actually coming from down there. Looking good. Now we want to have a little bit of uh, support that's coming from here. So the same way as we created this shape, we're going to do that. Two shapes this time. So we're going to start with a circle. So let's say it's going to be perfect. 
the circle. So you can actually start with the circle. 90 degrees. Okay, so make it smaller and we can actually push it up. Okay, so one circle is there, we're going to create another circle. So, create curve tools, CV curve tool or EP curve tool, which is what it is. So, I'll start from here. So, let's say one, and then we're going to go two, three, four. Okay, that's going to touch there. Okay, okay, and then five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that should be fine. Okay, if you want to have more, you can have. So that freedom is there. So now uh, to get this shape, we're gonna uh, use another tool. So let's say select this guy first. I'm gonna select this curve first and shift select this one. Okay, and then we're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to surfaces tool. Okay, and there you'll find something called uh, extrude here so let's go to options uh, we're going to choose a couple of things here so let's say uh, we're gonna have this tube shape and we want the shape to be a path okay and the pivot is going to be component and uh, we want the orientation to be in the paths direction right and the resulting shape is going to be polygon and we want to have quads not triangles okay and we want to <clears throat> the shape based on the number of control points. So click extrude here. So that's what we get. We can do a couple of things. So let's say first one, I'm going to change the scale. That's making it look a bit nicer. I can actually select the circle and rotate him. Okay, so that's basically it's showing in black color because it's actually showing the wrong side. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay. So we need to make a couple of more changes here. So let me just change the size of the curve. That can make it a bit smaller. Yes, there you go. So that's one thing that we can do. Plus, we can also just select this guy. Okay, go to control vertex. Okay, select these and just push them like so. To give some space there. Okay, oops. Select that, and there you go. So now if I just press 3, so you can see that it's smooth, and that looks nice. Okay, now we can, uh, once we made this extrude, now it is actually a polygon object. So uh, whatever kind of changes that you want to make, you can do so. So first I'll just go ahead and delete the history so that it actually removes the uh, connection between the curves. So I'm going to extrude the shape. I'm just going to push it in. So if I just go in, I can see that. Uh, it's going in there okay so now if you want to smooth this uh, further you can actually add more divisions here so let's say insert edge loop tool so that will do that and I can actually tweak this uh, further to make more modifications so I can actually add a, a connect components here so let's say do that push this down okay so select these guys and do the same connect components and that's also going to make such changes okay so if you think that it's uh, not smooth enough you can uh, add more details or if you just okay with the result that you get you're fine so with this we will finish uh, part one of uh, building this cart and we'll continue with the rest of the uh, model in the second part, part number two. Okay, thank you.
Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the second part of the uh, modeling of this cart. Okay, so in the first part we have just finished uh, all these things. So if you haven't watched the first part, uh, I will add the link in the description. So please go ahead and watch that and then come for this video uh, so that it will make sense for you. Okay, so <clears throat> in the previous part we just created this much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all these guys and create a group by pressing Ctrl G. Okay, and then I want to just push all these things up. So um, we want to create the rest of the things just below it, right? So uh, I'm just going to push this a little bit forward. So because I generally keep the uh, grid as the ground space, so we need to make sure that it's a little uh, raised from there, okay? So that we'll have the space to create uh, the rest of the uh, parts here, right? So now uh, I want to have uh, the base here, okay? And then from the base shape, we will just build the rest of them. Okay, so I'm going to use a cube again here. So let's go to create polygon primitives cube. Okay, so let's uh, go to the side view and make it a bit bigger. Okay, so that's going to be the body area. So I'm going to choose the move tool, pull it up, and uh, I'll need to be keeping it uh, longer so that uh, it fills the entire space here. So let's just do that. I'm just going to select all these guys and move him so that they place exactly there good it can be a little bigger no problem uh, I'll also check the front view uh, to have the same size as this one so let's say somewhere there looking good fine so this is basically what is going to be inside and we won't be actually seeing this we need to build uh, the rest of the things that is going to be outside this okay so let's go ahead and create another cube so let's say create polygon cube okay so these are going to be the pillars uh, which will basically connect the bottom portion to the cart okay uh, I forgot one thing here I can actually make a duplicate of this guy uh, to fill the back side here so just push that here and I'll just make it a bit bigger so that it fits in um, nicely so let's just push it in We'll keep him a little bit up, okay, and maybe a bit bigger. Okay, so let's just push this all the way to the top, okay. Make sure that it's not going to be visible outside. Now, if you want to do some fancy uh, looking things here, you can also do that. Okay, so if we have time at the end, we can create those shapes. Okay, so next thing that we want is we want these pillars here. So let's say, uh, let's select this guy get a bit bigger okay and uh, I want this uh, top area to be a bit smaller and the bottom to be a bit bigger so let's just do that press uh, W to get the move tool pull it up and I'm actually going to keep this somewhere here in one side and I also need to bring him here so I think I'll make him uh, totally a bit smaller and maybe a bit taller Okay, um, now it needs to actually go inside, not this much out, so like so. Okay, maybe a bit more smaller too. And taller. Okay, so um, I think that looks good. Maybe I can just give a little bit of angle here, so, so this guy, move him like so. And maybe do the same thing here also. Just do that. Okay. That's nice. We need to uh, add a little bit more detail here. So let's just select all these um, uh, edges and shift right click and choose bevel edge. And that will basically add a nice um, extra detail there to make it more uh, squarish. Okay, we'll add. One division should be fine, I think. We'll just press three to see how that looks. Okay, uh, we need to add a couple of more divisions uh, in the top and the bottom. So press four to see that. Okay, or if you want, you can actually uh, add the bevel to the bottom and top also. But now it's too late for us. We'll just go ahead and choose Inset Edge Loop Tool. We'll add one right here, maybe just one more here, and I'll do the same thing here. So one and two 
okay so you could have also done the extrude there so that will also keep those guys closer there so let's just press 5 and that's exactly what we wanted perfect okay so now I can actually make this duplicate control D and then I can actually go ahead and choose the x-axis scale to be minus 1 so the duplicate comes to the other side which is perfect okay now what I can do is I can select these two guys and make sure that you're in object mode and control G to make a group and now I can make a, a duplicate of that control D and I can actually change this time Z axis to be minus one so we get those copies coming here okay so now uh, this side we can actually bake it a bit thicker so I'll just choose both of these guys and make them thicker bigger basically okay but I don't think I should move his position to the different location so I can actually select these guys move them back to where they were okay do the same thing here okay and they can actually be short instead of being so tall okay now this guy needs to be a bit smaller because it doesn't need that big space there and I'll actually create this outside area separately so not a problem and it can be smaller like so okay so now we can actually build uh, the uh, bottom area here okay this is just for the inside shape we will just tweak it later and I'm just going to basically create another cube okay so this one is going to be placed in the side and I actually want to have some kind of um, uh, modification here so what I'll do is I'll actually add a couple of divisions here so let's go down okay so height division we can actually have um, maybe three okay and we want to have some depth also okay something like that we can actually start with less number of divisions which is easier so if needed we can just add them later not a problem so I'll just keep these guys like so okay and I'm actually going to make these bottom ones a bit smaller okay we'll continue to do the same thing like so and I actually want to keep these guys a bit like so and both these directions okay and even the top ones can be a bit more uh, projected outwards okay so this is the front so I just want this uh, to be a bit more um, projected towards the front side so keep it like so Good. so let's check and we can actually bring this to one of the sides we can actually make one side and the other side is going to be a duplicate of that so um, we'll just keep this a little bit up okay that looks perfectly fine so now uh, I just want to make a bit more tweaks here so just for the bottom area I'm going to just push this up I'm going to create um, a shape here so uh, I'll just do that and should be fine I guess okay something like that okay that's fine now we just want to add some bevel here so let's just double click that double click that double click that double click that that's all of these shape I will also select uh, these four corners because they also need to be soft here okay and probably I'll do the same for the inside ones also so I'm actually double clicking to select all the edge loop now I'll choose bevel here so let's say go to fraction make it maybe 0.3 okay and I'll add the segments to be 2 or 3 should be fine and press 3 just see how that looks okay that's fine looking smooth 
Now I just want to add a couple of more here. Now if needed, we can actually make this a bit smaller because I think that's um, a bit too bigger. Okay. And I just want to add these guys also to put a little bit bigger, like say. Starts to look good. If I press three, that's smooth and nice. Okay, so now I want to continue on building a similar shape down here. So we just want to have uh, one more piece down here. So uh, it's like uh, two different pieces of uh, wood uh, getting the shape. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this, just bring it down, and I can actually flip, I guess. So let's say. Um, for y-axis scale, I'm just going to give minus to whatever we have, okay? So we get something like that, that's perfectly fine. And I just want to tweak these shape, okay? So here we go, just um, make the negative shape of whatever we have there. And this can actually be too close, it does not have to have a lot of space there, so I'll try to keep them as close as possible. Okay, so this is just a fancy design thingy that I'm doing. So if you don't like to do like this, you can actually uh, make it with the same uh, single piece, not a problem. So you can also make it with four pieces or so five pieces. <laughs> That's totally up to you. Okay, so we'll just keep uh, the bottom area to be flat. Okay, so we'll just get that like so. Okay, so that's looking good, and I actually want to have a little bit of extension from here to make the uh, the front area that is going to be touching the ground. Okay. Now, if you think it's too big, you can also push it up. We also need to consider the entire size of the cart uh, to make sure that it's uh, looking nice, all of them together. Okay, now I think I might have to add one little piece up here. We can do that, no problem. Okay, so now actually this this uh, guy can actually do an extrude here to, to make the, um, f uh, the basic frame. Or we can actually do that uh, as a separate piece. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, at this point I think it's time to add the wheels so that we will exactly know uh, how much space we will need to make the rest of the uh, cart okay so I'm gonna make the wheel to be around this size okay and it can actually have the center center point here otherwise the the whole cart will become too big so I'm gonna have um, the cylinder okay so we'll just rotate that cylinder 90 degrees let's make it bigger And um, I'm actually going to start from the center area, so just make it like so. Push it somewhere here. So this is where the wheel is going to start. So I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, so this is the center area. Uh, from here, we need to make the uh, rest of the wheel. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start from uh, creating the uh, extrude first. So let's say if I start from here, so I think I'm gonna count two, okay? And then I'm gonna leave two empty, okay? And then I'll extrude these two. Leave two empty, extrude these two leave to empty, extrude these two, leave to empty, extrude these two. So we have exactly two of them left. And then that will basically become the extrude here. So that's good. Now I can actually make this a bit smaller. Okay, so I'm just scaling it in one axis. Oops. Like so. We can just this out like so 
And I'll also do a little extrude here. Oops. Might have to do a little uh, tweaking here just to make that shape come out well. So I'll select these vertices. Okay. And scale them out, but we're going to just do it with one axis like so. Perfectly fine. Now we can actually tweak uh, this shape that is in, that we have inside. So let's just select all these faces. Oops. Select these faces. Make sure that you're not selecting anything that is from the other side. Okay. Just that. Okay. And I'm going to do some extrude here. So let's say extrude. And I'm going to pull it out. And make it a bit smaller. Keep it like so. Make one more extrude. And make it smaller like so. Push it slightly out. Then one more extrude. Pull it out. One more extrude. Make it smaller. And then one more last extrude. This time it's going to be pushing it inside. Okay. So whenever this is required, we can actually add a bevel or anything just to make the shapes uh, look the way we wanted. I'm going to add a fraction of 0 0.3, 0 0.2. We can add two segments there okay and we can actually press 3 to smooth it and see how that looks that's perfect and <clears throat> I'm just going to do some extrude from here so um, these pieces are basically going to get attached to the bigger circle that we're going to create now so I'm actually going to make one more uh, cylinder so let's go ahead and choose uh, create polygon primitives cylinder rotate it 90 degrees actually we could have made this duplicate before so that could have been a bit more easier but it's okay so let's rotate 90 degrees now we need to place them exactly in the center so what we can do is we can actually use something called point snap here so that will basically snap it to the center point here so that way we make sure that it is exactly in the center so now we can actually scale it like so push it uh, I'll turn off the point snap here now. So let's keep it like so. I'm going to scale in um, just like that. Press 4. And I can actually get rid of uh, the cap division so that we will end up with just that shape. Okay. So I can also delete the faces that we have inside. So both of them, right? I choose the face, all of them basically extrude and I need to actually pull them out to get the positive otherwise it will become black so let's do that that's basically creating the thickness here and I can make it smaller to fit the size that we have here so let's say just that much okay and uh, that's just the basic shape there. I will actually make it a bit thicker. Good. Now, if you want to have more number of spokes, you can also do that. You can either uh, create just cubes and just put them here, or you can um, extrude based on the number of pieces that you want, uh, any way you like. So I'll go ahead and choose double click to select all of them, extrude. And this time it's going to be a little bit of extrude. And I can just uh, select all these guys and select all these guys. Okay, so extrude face and just pull it out. Okay, press 3 to smooth it out. Okay, and I need to just add some more divisions here. So let's say press 3, sorry, press 1 and Let's go ahead and add a bevel here. So make the fraction to be 0.3 and segments to be 3. And so there we go. Press 3 and then you get that result. Okay. So let's go ahead and check this guy. See how him looks. Okay. Uh, it's not matching up uh, from the inside that's because we don't have enough divisions there so what I'll do is I'll actually add some more divisions here 
select actually we can just select these faces by going to face select one two one two one two one two one two i'm pressing shift key to make sure that i'm selecting all of them right so press four here and let's do an extrude here so let's just push this all the way out oh that's so okay no problem we can still work on it i'll do one more extrude push it out and this time we're going to make it smaller in all sides okay there you go now what we need to do is one last step we're going to select all these vertices so one two three four and five we're going to use scale tool this is perspective and i'm going to scale just here okay so we need to make sure that it's actually going inside that is perfectly fine okay oops not like that we need to make it do like this press three and that's the result we get now i think it's um the wheel is still too thin and maybe we'll have to add some divisions here also so let's go ahead and select these guys uh, I'll go to vertex select sorry I'll go to edge okay select these edges these edges these edges these edges okay shift right click connect components so that adds one there I'm gonna do the same for these guys so one two three four five okay shift right click connect components there you go perfectly fine press 4 to see exactly what we're doing here so let's say 1 2 3 okay and then 4 5 okay. and then connect components there you go so let's say press 3 that's perfect so that's our final result and if you want to, you can actually just push these guys a little bit inside by just going to these faces, extrude, and we can make it a bit more thicker. So that is just for adding a little bit thickness, uh, but otherwise that's perfect and fine. Okay, so now the other side is actually looking here, so what I can do is I can just select... Uh, these faces so select these faces here oops okay. okay so I can select these faces here which will select some faces in the other side which we don't want extrude make it smaller now sometimes when you have a lot of objects like this it might get confused uh, just be really clear about which one you're extruding and it will make the change of making a good model and making a bad model so make sure that you're choosing the right ones when you do extrudes and stuff so next thing that we want to do is we'll go ahead and select these two guys so let's say one shift select this one control G to make it as a group and we can actually do something called modify center pivot so that we get the pivot point in the center that will make things easier for us if we want to animate later once that much is done we can actually move all these guys up so that looks good so now we can actually make a copy of this to the other side so i'm just selecting the entire object okay go to modify center pivot so that brings it to the center good and we need to make a duplicate to the other side so before that i just want to make sure that the pivot point is at the center so i'll press insert key and we can use x to grid snap that's perfect okay so we need to do the duplicate i'll press ctrl d to make the duplicate and scale x is going to be minus one so that pushes to the other side okay we need to do the same thing for these two guys so I'll select both of them control D um, these cases we can actually push it uh, to the other side just like that okay 
So everything looks good. Now, just for fancifying things, I just want to add one more little piece here. So let's say uh, I want to add a cube. Okay, so this is going to be uh, long. Okay, just long, 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 long. And I just want to push him up to the outside here. And we need to make him short like so. Take him all the way there. Okay, so it needs to be just about that. There you go. Okay, but it needs to be a bit bigger. There you go. So I just want to make a couple of changes here. So let's say go to vertex, just select this, just to get the same shape as what we have here. So something like that and something like this. Okay, so we're going to apply a bevel to all these edges. So I'm going to select all the edges and shift right click and choose bevel edge. There you go. So we're just going to add segments of two. Okay. That's perfect. Press three. So that's going to be smooth. And I'm going to turn off uh, this so you can see what's actually happening here. Now I'm going to add something that looks like nails. So I'm going to create a sphere for that. Okay. Now, because it's going to take a lot of space uh, in our memory and the size of the file, we're going to reduce this subdivision axis to something like eight. Okay, or even less. I'm just going to keep it eight. Let's see how that comes out. And I'm going to delete one side, okay, one half. So we just have this. I'm going to rotate it uh, exactly 90 degrees. Actually, nine, minus 90 degrees. So we get that. And I'm going to push it up all the way here. And we need to make it smaller. So it needs to be going here. And I'll have to make it smaller. Actually, much smaller. So we'll keep it something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to make more copies of this. So we'll just start from here. So from there, let's say Control D, that is one. And then I'll choose Shift D to get it in the same spacing. So uh, if it is, the, if the edges is not matching up perfectly fine, what we can do is we can actually um, select all of these. So let's say select all these, then deselect the other ones. We can actually adjust the position here. So that just adds a little bit more detail there. OK, so if you want to have uh, similar to that, you can also have one more copy down here just to fancify the look. OK, and uh, right here inside what we want is we want uh, just these guys to become a bit smaller inside like so and right in the back also can be a bit pushed inside and we can actually add a similar appearance like this so uh, it could be another cube okay we're gonna make this go up here let's make it taller okay and uh, we'll actually make the entire shape and then we will rotate so let's choose the scale tool make it longer to fit that much space okay and push it up like so okay I'm gonna add a couple of divisions here Go down to width and add something like that. Four should be fine. Height divisions will have uh, two or three. Depth, maybe not needed depth. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go up to all these sides. So double click here, double click here, double click here, double click here. We're gonna ignore the back side for now, no problem. Uh, I'm just going to give a bevel here so that applies something like that. So. Not too much, maybe just a little bit. And we'll add segments here. Okay. And then once we got that, we can actually go to edge. Um, and I'm going to go to vertex actually. So let's just select this. And actually, I can select all these four and make them 
like so. Okay, and then finally uh, fine tween these shapes here. Yeah. Okay, so looks like a wooden piece. Okay. Good. Press four. Press three. That's gonna look like that. And I need to make uh, one more copy of this. I think uh, I should have reduced the bevel a bit less. It's not very sharp. Let me see if I can add more details here. I'll add an edge loop right at this end, one at this end. Now let's see if it's making it more sharper. Press three. Yeah, that's much nicer. OK, uh, now when we add the textures, we can actually add more details uh, to make it look like a wooden piece. For now, I think that's fine. OK, I'll make one more copy of this. We can actually look at the side view to make sure that we get the exact shape that we wanted. OK, so this one is actually going to have uh, the opposite shape. select these guys and it's gonna have some kind of deformation here so okay so that it doesn't look like exact copy but also it looks fine okay so I think the last thing that we need to do now is the, um, the stand that is going to be in the front okay so for that we're going to uh, I'll actually duplicate these guys to the other side so let's see we'll select all these make sure that we're in shape mode press ctrl g to make it as a group which actually brings the pivot point to the center and now i can just duplicate and um i'll give minus one here for x-axis so that brings it exactly to the other side um, but it's not touching it so i'm gonna just select this guy modify center pivot then bring him to make him touch okay so that both sides look the same now if we want we can also make a copy of this and then bring it down control d then bring it down all the way to this area that is that is going to add a bit more detail here so let's say push it like so okay so now I'm going to go to vertex, I'm going to select all these vertices, push them inside, push these in. Okay. So I'm going to select all these. We'll have to make a duplicate to the other side. Edit, duplicate and minus one for x-axis. So let's check if it is placed where we want it. There's a little bit of gap, so what we can do is we can go to modify and choose center pivot to bring the pivot point to the center, and then we can actually push it slightly inside. Okay. That's good. So one last thing that is going to be the um, the front um, foot. So for creating that, we're going to uh, use a cube again. So create polygon primitives cube. So pull it up. So it's going to basically start from here. So it might be longer, but we're not going to show that. We'll go to vertex, bring these guys out. Okay. And we will do an extrude from here. So let's say extrude. And this is going to go straight down. So let's just say right rotate. Then bring it down. This has to be touching the ground here. So let's say. We can go ahead and choose the grid snap and make sure that's touching the grid. This one is also touching the grid. And we can actually have a little longer space if we want. 
So I'll turn this off, okay? Go to vertex mode, select this guy, move him like so. Now we can actually modify um, and decide what kind of shape we want to have, okay? So I'll just go ahead and choose the edge, select all these edges, uh, connect components, so that adds edge loop here, so let's just pull this out, okay? Now if you want, you can also create a curve and then uh, shape it accordingly, that's up to you. Um, there are so many choices, so many ways that you can do this, and depending on what kind of result you want, you can work on different stuff, okay? So I'm going to make it a bit thicker here. Okay, I'll add one more here. So let's select all these edges, connect components, just select that, move him out like so. I want to add um, edge loop here. So let's say one edge loop here. That's perfect. Now, if we want, we can actually add, uh, I'm going to double click on this edge to select all the edges, okay? And then we have something called slide edge tool. Um, slide edge tool is here, so we can actually move the position to a different place, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually select these faces and do a little extrude here uh, to create uh, some kind of um, thickness there. So let's press three, see how that looks. Perfect. So again, we don't want it to be smooth. We want it to be um, more like a boxy shape. I'm going to add an extrude here just to make that to be thick and strong there. Good. Now I'll just go ahead and double click on this, double click on this, double click on this, double click on this. That selects everything. Uh, I need to also include this guy and this guy. Okay. Shift right click and choose Pivot Edge and I'll give a little more. Okay. Good. We want to have two. I think that should be fine. We'll press three to smooth it out. Yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now you can either have just one, which will also be fine, or you can have two. So uh, we can just, if you want to have two, you can actually make uh, one of these guys go to one side uh, either it can be here or I think it can be just inside that looks much nicer I'm gonna make a duplicate to take it to the other side <clears throat> now if you want the duplicate to be exactly in the same distance you can uh, make the pivot point to the center and then duplicate it or we can just manually do this okay so uh, this completes this tutorial of uh, creating a fancy looking cart, okay? Uh, we can still modify further. You can add more details if you want. You can actually add a nameplate here, um, whatever kind of changes that you want to do. So thank you so much for watching. If you have watched till this much, that means I think the video is useful to you. So if you like it, please go ahead and hit the like button for the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. for.